comparison, uh, and you can see uh, the Bordeaux wines are facing a bit of a uh, competition, so to say. Yeah? So it has uh, deep in terms of uh, value uh, for the past couple of years, uh, past, uh, past few years, and in comparison to other regions. Yeah? And uh, so if we look at from the different regions in the world perspective, uh, they, the deep happens more in within Europe itself, okay, within Europe. Whereas uh, outside of Europe, non-EU, you can see that uh, the, the Bordeaux wine sort of has increased, okay? And uh, before the little deep there, uh, a lot got to do with the, the Chinese market. Uh, the Chinese market uh, really has a huge impact on the, the export of uh, Bordeaux wine. And uh, that deep largely was uh, accounted by the Chinese market. And then now we see another rise uh, in terms of uh, consumption, also coming from the, the China market. The main European markets here, uh, just to show you the, which are the important markets for, for Bordeaux. So more interestingly, I think we should look at Asia. Huh? So Asia, the Chinese market. I think probably you would know that um, there was uh, a couple of few years back, no? uh, the President uh, Xi Jinping no? uh, came down very harsh on, on the consumption of, uh, of the civil servants consuming uh, so-called high-end bottle wine. No? So all this suddenly affected the whole, whole uh, what we call demand for high-end uh, high wines. Huh? And uh, that probably account for that, the sharp dip. And subsequently, then you could see that uh, there are a lot, a couple of investment, Chinese investment in, in Bordeaux. And uh, you know Jack Ma, right? Huh? Uh, Jack Ma, a champion of uh, small and medium sized uh, companies, uh, he has also invested uh, in a uh, few chateaus in China, oh, no, sorry, in uh, Bordeaux. But not in the top, not the top chateau. They he invested in a chateau in Entre Deux Mer, huh? so very average chateau uh, to help these people to export the wine. I think uh, his philosophy is simply that if you are really so known, you don't need me to help you. So uh, his uh, uh, what I say, his objective is really to help the, the small and medium sized uh, companies. Huh? So with that, I think. Um, probably we could see more of the mid-range uh, Bordeaux wine uh, uh, gaining a lot of entry in, into the Chinese market. Malcolm, what yeah. is CA and CH? Sorry? What is CA and CH? Uh, C to Canada, is it? Yeah. Yeah. Canada, 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 Switzerland, let's see. Yeah, Canada, I can see. Wait, let me see. Yeah. CH is Switzerland. Yeah. Okay, so. Um, Bordeaux wines in export volume, so um, another, I think, different graph uh, showing the same thing. Huh? In terms of uh, price point, what you could see that really the very low end Bordeaux wine has, uh, the price has dropped uh, a lot. Huh? Okay? And you can see that uh, it is really the uh, mid range, huh? 4.5 to, to 6 euro that you can see that. Uh, there is an increase in terms of, uh, I would say, export volume. Yeah. So that, that uh, like I said, explained by um, that medium, uh, mid-size um, binaries selling mid-range wine, <coughs> gaining um, export market exposure uh, in, in Asia. Okay, so, um, so if you look at, uh, again, this is, also to be confirmed, so you may look at the uh, uh, Bordeaux Rouge, Bordeaux Superior, that kind of jump uh, in China, so uh, where um, many people uh, buying that now, uh, now that uh, it's uh, not so easy to get access into, or the, the money to buy the high-end Bordeaux wines, uh, many are now become more down to earth, huh? uh, drinking wine at more entry level. Okay? So, 